In the 5 by 5 approach to differentiated instruction, the authors provide five ways both to set the stage before differentiation and five day-to-day -day activities and actions that should be occurring while you're in a differentiated classroom. Setting the stage for the differentiation is extremely important because it provides a solid foundation for your students to base their learning on. And the article provides five different ways in which you should prepare your students. The first way is through assessments, and those assessments being formative assessments so that you can obtain data and adjust teaching to ensure that all students are reaching the same goal, and also including pre-assessments that can help you determine where your students are coming from and where they need to go, as well as address misconceptions. The second one is to build positive student-teacher relationships and then to main, maintain student motivation in which you can keep students motivated with intrinsic motivation by emphasizing the small wins within the learning process. The fourth one is to teach life skills, which can help to bring in their motivation to help really ground their learning so that they know that they're learning all of this information for a reason. And finally, the fifth way to set the stage for differentiation is to create and maintain community. And that community can really help them learn because they can then start bouncing ideas and learning with each other as opposed to as individuals in the classroom. Then the five day-to-day -day actions. The very first one is the Zelgarnik effect, which is the idea that once you start doing something, you tend to want to finish it by do, you tend to want to finish doing it. So in order to really encourage the students, it helps just to get them started on a task. The second one is to differentiate assignments. Third one is to allow computers because it can help students to feel more motivated to do the work because they're able to work at their own pace. The fourth one is to praise efforts and learning from mistakes. And the fifth one is to use flexible grouping because differentiated instruction doesn't always have to be homogeneous. You can also make heterogeneous instruction so that students can feel a little bit more at home in class. They can work with students they don't typically work with and they can choose the groups based on different criteria.